Hey guys, this rip fletching again. We have to do a little bit more with the uh, black swan and the gel and some arrows. We're going to try out some new tests. This is the bow I'm shooting. It's the uh, black swan hybrid longbow. It's an absolute beauty. Shoots like a dream. And um, extremely fast. And uh, this. We're going to be doing um, a little bit of penetration, showing what the different size arrow shafts will do. This is a Black Eagle Magnum. Okay, then we have a Gold Tip 400, standard size. And then I have, this is the Axis. And they're in 400s, so uh, let's go shoot them. See what happens. Now the Black Eagle does have a sharp tip. The rest of these are not sharp tips, but so it will help with penetration some. But I'm uh, well, I'm pretty sure it won't have the penetration because of the back shaft. But let's see what happens. Let's just shoot that fat one first. Get it out of the way. And See what happens. Oh, it really seemed like it just stopped it. All right. This is the oh, this is the four hundred. What looks like a hundred twenty-five grain tip, gold tip. Here. And we're going to go ahead and shoot a couple of each. So this is 125 grain gold tip 400 again. Okay. Now we're going to go with the Axis 400, 125 grain tip. Shoot one more of those. 125 grain axis on the uh, 400 spine. Oh, must have been a knock. Sounds like. I think I got a Robin Hood. I sure did. And that did not do pretty on my brand new shaft. Robin Hood there. I'm glad I don't. Those turbo knocks, it's really hard to Robin Hood those. All right, let's try to keep them close just for you to see the results. And well, um, you know, this one was a after it Robin Hooded the other arrow, it still penetrated. Um, but look at the difference on this axis in comparison. I mean, quite a bit more penetration on that. Pretty awesome. Anyhow. You know what? I don't have... Let me shoot the other one. I've got <coughs> that one that's sticking through there is an 80 grain. I didn't know I picked that one up. Let me see if I have the other one over here. Yeah. Sorry guys, that one I shot was the 80 grain. So this will be 125 grain on this gold tip. I'm going to shoot away from them a little bit, keep me from busting another arrow. There we go. All right. Well, let's take a look at them. That gel is kind of wobbly when you don't shoot it toward the center. It wobbles a lot and you don't get the penetration. But there you go. And you know, I haven't, I'm not getting the penetration that I have been getting on this block. Um, in days before this, which is really strange, you'd think it would get better penetration. Um, I think two things are going on. One, my I need to clean these shafts off. I need, I need to take something and uh, make sure the gel's off of them because it's getting kind of sticky. And uh, another thing, I think the gel's just getting uh, 
beat up and it's just gooey and um, I think that makes it I know it seems crazy but even stickier so just not getting the penetration that I was getting just a couple of days ago all right uh, if y'all want me to shoot that one more time I will I'm gonna do anything else might as well do it I believe I busted that new arrow. <laughs> you guys that have been watching my videos, I just just got these arrows with the bow. Arvid at Black Swan. Oh, I got those. Same time. Oh yeah, boy, those are hard to get out. All right, let's uh, take another pop at it. Actually, I'm gonna clean these arrows up real quick. See if I can get them cleaned up just a little bit and uh, see what that does for penetration. If you guys can see, I'm just taking a towel, getting that gel off of them. See if that helps a little bit. All right. Let's shoot this thing. I guess I'm a bow nerd. I can sit here and goof around with a bow all night. It's better than the alternative what other people are doing. All right, let's send her down the middle. Just right under it. And let's put another one right under that. And let's do uh, another axis. I was going to pick up some deep six shafts tonight and, uh, well, you know, you just, you, you can't shoot a variety of broadheads, so I just, I didn't do it. And then let's go with the Black Eagle 3D arrow. It's really, really fat shaft. It's the Magnum. It's the fattest shaft you can get. And that old fat shaft just won't go through it, which is exactly what we were talking about. You can see that actually quite a ways from going through that big old shaft just won't do it. As you can see, those axis arrows really pack a punch. All the energy is focused in such a small diameter that it, it penetrates better. All right, so if you want to know why those things are so good for hunting, that is a good example. And why you don't want to use a real fat shaft for hunting, that is your answer. There's too much resistance on this big old fat shaft. All right, see you guys later.